everyone welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to show you how to show and hide buttons and other controls for admin and guest user okay so first we need is uh, one button and let me just say change it to login okay and just need two text boxes where user can enter its login id and password okay so just copy it and paste it once again and here we go so and need to label okay so let me copy labels just copy it and paste it okay so just keep it here and just change it to password and change it to username okay so and changes to login and change its font so that it can be visible clearly and look nice let me change it to a bigger size font that is 22 and like this okay so i have done this and now we need to do is when this uh, admin login then there should be some controls uh, every control is visible and when the guest user login few controls needs to be hidden so for that i am just creating a new form uh, so just Go and right click on your project name and add add a window form and i'm adding this i'm not changing its name and here we have so what we need to do is let me add few buttons here and just copy it and paste it two three more times and okay so this is done and let me put uh, one grid view data grid view okay so i want that when the guest user login guest user is can for guest user this grid view needs to be invisible or this guest uh, this grid view needs to be not visible to the user and these buttons also so how to do that just go to the for previous form and just go into this login and let me just check few conditions okay so i am creating two user if txt box one dot text is equal to is equal to okay so this is text box one and you can check its name this is text box one and just go here text box one dot i'm giving admin and 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 text box two dot text is equal to is equal to pass that is password i'm giving it okay so i'm using one more else if else if if text box one dot just let me copy this and paste it here okay so when we do this i'm just passing this if uh, now, now to move this to the second form that is this one and what is the what code we need to move from first this form to this form is uh, just creating object of that form that is form 5 so name of the form fm and is equal to form form 5 new actually we have to place the value new new form 5 and put this process and just and now call this fm dot show and here we go so when this uh, there will be admin and there will be pass then this will move to the next form and everything will be visible and for same just copy this and paste it here 
so now what we need is we need to just send this value to this uh, uh, forms 5 so that you can identify that which is admin and which is uh, guest user so let me change it uh, guest okay so just need to do this I'm just assigning the text box one dot text in this but this will show error because in form 5 we don't have any parameterized constructor so let's just create a parameterized constructor for that I'm just going in this and this is a constructor so just copy it and paste it once again okay so now um, I want a string because I'm sending a string here you can see this and I'm passing a string okay so let me just create a string string and username okay and just here I am just creating a string s and in this s the value which I am passing from here from this text was now here you can see this error is fixed now so this text is being received here in string s and now we need to assign this s to this username so just assigning this username is equal to s now okay so now this is done so when this uh, what we need is when this five form five loads i need to check that if user is guest user is login then this this and this needs to be hidden and if the uh, uh, admin is login everything needs to be visible so for that i'm just using condition if if username that is this one is equal to is equal to admin then just this nothing needs to be done okay so actually we are changing this to guest okay so let me show you if this is guest then we need to hide this button 3 and 4 so button 3 dot hide we just to write this and button 4 dot hide okay so now and in else condition in else condition i don't need anything so okay okay so just load it and just see what happens now i'm giving a username username i'm just typing admin and password is pass and click on login and here you can see every control is visible now just change it to guest and just log in okay so still some problem is here let me check what is this the guest is i have written everything right i guess from the load this needs to be hidden okay uh, let me check um, txt walk one of text and i'm passing guest okay actually i have not passed any parameter in this so let me just pass it i have not passed anything in the guest parameter that's why it's calling its uh, unparameterized constructor this one that's why that uh, value is not being disabled and let me just start it again and let me just write admin and pass and just click on here you can see all controls are visible and just change it to guest and click here and here you can see these two buttons are hidden now for the guest user okay so how to disable or how to hide this grid view so let me show that too so you just need to write grid view data grid view actually data grid view dot hide and that's it and just execute it and you just need to write this sorry admin everything is visible for admin and guest and pass okay so here you can see 
for the guest this uh, grid view is also invisible and these buttons are also and now for admin here you can see everything is visible and oh, okay i hope you have understood what i'm trying to uh, teach you okay so thanks for watching please subscribe my youtube channel and hit the bell icon and don't forget to share and like